Gaffer, a positive performance against Oxford on Tuesday night and a point to show for it. What have the last couple of days been like on the training ground? Good, just a continuation of the building blocks that we're trying to put in place. Working with uh, a squad of players who needed rest and recovery and a third of the squad you know, who needed uh, to be put through the paces. So I think he was up here yesterday. We saw some uh, a brain game, if you like, where the, the outfield players who played on on Tuesday and obviously on Saturday had a bit of a down day but we used the brain instead of the physical side of their, uh, the, the, the capabilities whereas the other players who hadn't played uh, we put them through the physical paces um, but again it's just building blocks we're going through uh, a project we're going through uh, putting things mentally into place tactically into place and technically into place what we need to do in and out of possession with a group of players and, and they've been brilliant to work with. Looking back to Tuesday, what pleased you the most about the performance that you saw? The progress, um, the intelligence from the players to try and put into practice what we've been working on. Uh, and they did on Saturday against uh, Rotherham and again, I've got to keep reiterating, we can't get involved in the emotions of the scoreboard. I saw genuine effort, I saw players trying to do the right thing um, in and out of possession but we just weren't good enough and sometimes you have to admit that you're not good enough against better opponents but that doesn't mean that you change your plan so we've progressed, we worked on the plan even more uh, and we got a positive better performance and a positive better result and we've just got to keep putting these you know, blocks in place and progression and keep underlining them, keep reaffirming them keep seeing progress with the players and the players you know the technical strategies the tactical strategies are in and out of possession the function for the team in and out of possession and in and out of shape and they're really important to the way that we want to play and they will determine the future success of the football club. You've spoken before about needing to get the players back up to speed they might have been tired legs come the latter stages of Tuesday's game, but it didn't really look that way. Are you pleased with how the fitness is progressing? It's progressing, uh, but again, they are still, you know, in a situation where they have to improve uh, physically. If they improve physically with the conditioning work in and out of possession that we're doing on the training pitch, then the mental clarity will be there. They'll be able to make better decisions in possession, better decisions, for example, marking out of possession, better decisions when the opponents are dominating possession. Uh, and that's where we have to see natural progression, but it's not going to happen overnight. These players have come from Adam Chickson, for example, you know, trained for two days, played two games, not trained, for six weeks prior to that other than being on his own so absolutely superb characteristics and we're looking for that in the players but now it's about football fitness fatigue football fitness the mental strength that we're trying to develop in these players on the training pitch with the type of program that we're putting them through you know and we want them players to have you know uh, you know be able to uh, get going to the depth of the fatigue and still be able to perform you said that you're really excited about being stood at the side of the pitch as Bolton Wanderers manager. You must be really looking forward to Saturday's game. I'm looking forward to every game. You've got to look forward. I think somebody said to me, there's no point in look back, looking backwards. That's not the way we're going. Uh, we're not. We're, we're, we're striding forward. But sometimes you have to revisit the past to make sure that you realise how far you've come or how far you need to go. You know, you, there's a starting point and there's a finishing point, but that journey's got to be enjoyable. Do I love working for this football club? Unbelievable. I wake up every morning privileged. A Boltonian managing Bolton, Bolton Wanderers. Wow, it's a dream, um, you know, and it'll continue to be a dream uh, as long as we make progress. We're working with a, a good group of players who, who, a majority, I would say 95%, want to improve. They're always wanting to learn, asking questions, taxing us as coaches. It's brilliant having a voice, you know, an opinion and then ultimately performing and they've shown bravery in every aspect of that on the training pitch so it was brilliant Tuesday night it was brilliant Saturday against Rotherham and it's another building block against Sunderland on Saturday There's likely to be a larger crowd than normal on Saturday maybe double what there was on Tuesday is that something that the players can thrive off? 100% previously said you know the major coup on uh, transfer deadline day was recruiting 
you know, the big player in any football club, which is the supporters. The supporters are back on side with this football club. It's united again, and we've seen that. And we've experienced that while we've been out in the uh, in, in in Bolton, you know, in the suburbs, if you like. It's been magnificent the reception that we've got, you know, and uh, we we aim to support those fans, those loyal supporters, those loyal fans, you know, uh, with progression. Sunderland, of course, the next opponents. Obviously, a big club with matching expectations. What are you expecting from them on Saturday? They're a good side. Not only missed out last season uh, on uh, promotion. Uh, there's been no real hangover, and I wouldn't have expected one because, you know, they, they've recruited a good squad over two seasons. A squad that they'll expect to be challenging, and I expect them to be challenging in the top four all season. There's a massive pressure from uh, you know 40 or 50 thousand Sunderland supporters, and an ambition on that football club to get promoted, uh, you know, and uh, we can use that to our favour, uh, but we're looking forward to the game, it's a, it's a learning curve, a learning opportunity, an opportunity for us to go toe to toe, you know, with, with a team that's expected to get promotion. Just finally Gaffer, how the lads progressing who have yet to pull on a ball to wander a shirt? Uh, the injured players, uh, again, Injured players, I don't put too much pressure on injured players or the physio department. They're more than capable of getting the players fit and ready. They're desperate to play, but that desperation shouldn't lead to coming back too early and then being re-injured and then being out for a sustained period of time. I think the closest player that we're looking at getting back fit and available will be Daryl Murphy. So we're optimistic, but again, I don't want to like put anybody under pressure. But, uh, you know, we... We do need the players that we have in the squad up to speed. The young players, the substitutes, the players who haven't played, you know, recently for me. We need to get them up to speed quickly and the habits, the good habits that we're forming on that training pitch so that when we do need them off the bench, they're up and ready, they're ready to go. They're well versed on the, the demands in and out of possession, the functions with and without the ball. And, and that's where we're trying to get to.